Hey Megan, uh, sorry in advance. Uh, I have these questions sent to me by Macy and I've prepared them. I hope I get them right. If I don't, we can talk about it afterwards. And I love you and I hope today is just going super well for you and can't wait to see you later. I think Megan's favorite subject in school would probably be a science class. After all, she is a PA. Um, I know she's not big into math, so it's not physics. I'm thinking it's probably chemistry. I think she did pre-AP and AP chemistry and was a tutor in that. So I'm gonna go chemistry was her more than likely her favorite subject in school. Megan's favorite movie. This is a tough one. I think it's a tie between Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, or Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. She loves both of them. She talks about both of them all the time. And so it's hard for me to tell which one she likes more, but I'm, I'm gonna go with one of those as her favorite movie. Megan is gluten-free, but before then she loved bread. And I think if she could, she would eat bread every day of her life and go back to that. She misses it dearly, but I think that would be the one food she could, if she could eat, she would eat bread every day. This is an easy one. Megan's house in Harry Potter would be Ravenclaw. She loves to study. School was like her favorite thing. Um, she takes it very seriously and that is all, those are all characteristics of people who went to Ravenclaw and she also told me Ravenclaw, so that's her house in Hogwarts. If Megan won the lottery, I think besides giving a lot of money to charities in our church and things like that, I think the first thing she would buy is a house. She's always wanted to live in a house, a big house. So I think that would be the first thing she would buy is a nice big house for us to live in. So this is a tricky one. I think my answer is an iPhone, but more specifically the calendar on her iPhone. She constantly needs it. Uh, when we first started dating, I realized how much she used her calendar, so much so that she added me to her calendar so we could start figuring out when I was free and when I was busy and match those up. So I think her calendar on her iPhone is one thing she can't live without. Uh, I'm gonna throw myself under the bus. I know Megan's biggest pet peeve for me for a while was I would scare her too much and too good. So she hated that and eventually told me one day that she wanted me to stop. So that was her biggest pet peeve of me was scaring her too much and too often. Uh, so that that's that one. Uh, this one's an easy one. I made the first move. I think Megan would say she kind of made the first move by handing me her phone, but I asked her out uh, once I got her phone number, so I, I definitely made the first move there. So our first date, uh, it took place in several different locations. We started at Foxtrot, a coffee place in Snyder Plaza. We talked so long that it was dinner time, so then we walked down the street to Penne Pomodoro, an Italian place, had dinner there, and again, talked so long that the restaurant closed, and that's how our first date went. And it was a lot of conversations, good conversations. Um, I was the first to say I loved Megan, but then after we talked about it later, much later in our relationship, she shared with me that she loved me sooner than I loved her, but I was the first one to say it, and I think she wanted me to say it before she said it. But I'm, I'm so glad I was the first one. Uh, I'm gonna throw Megan under the bus, so I'm sorry, sweetie. Uh, if you ask drunk Megan, the answer is seven. If you ask sober Megan, the answer is four. Uh, and she said that she loved growing up in a house of four, so. I'm gonna stick with four for now, but it depends on who you ask. The one word I would use to describe Megan, and it's kind of my nickname for her, is beautiful. Um, as beautiful as she is on the outside, which is stunning, I think she's even more beautiful on the inside. Uh, having just dated her and now been engaged to her for so long, I feel as though she has one of the most beautiful hearts I've ever met. She is caring, loyal, loving, 
uh, generous and just constantly thinking about others and just has such a beautiful heart and soul that um, I think it attracts people to her, friends, family. I know it definitely attracted me towards her and she just is beautiful inside and out. And that's my nickname for her and it's a very accurate nickname every day. Hey sweetie, hey beautiful. Uh, I hope I answered most of those correctly or somewhat correctly. If I didn't, we could talk about it later. Uh, have a great rest of your afternoon. Say hi to everyone for me. Um, and I can't wait to see you later today. Love you, bye.